Okay, so here we are setting up this pole set for Martin. It's opening day here. We've got a 160 or something like that. Kana bear right there with a pan on it. This is a trap that I got. Um, I only got one like this, but got it set right like that. No pine trees in this. My crud, there's one right there. Didn't even look at that. But um, just take a branch, put it underneath of there. That holds it down. And then Martin goes walking up through there, gets caught, and then put other branches around it, make him not want to go around it or anything. And then we got chunked up beaver meat right there, or just like quarters of beaver meat. So we'll take that, rub it all up and down the pole and the tree, and then tie it off right there. So we'll do that quick and see you in a minute. Okay, we got it up there. Um, got the meat up there. I didn't rub mine all up and down the pole. I saw some guys doing that. Seen others not. But um, I decided not to because that thing was frozen. It wasn't doing a heck of a lot anyways. Um, darn, I forgot my lure bag. So I'm going to have to leave this like this. And I'll lure it up tomorrow when I come by. So if Martin comes walking past, hopefully he'll notice it. But I had Gusto just sitting, waiting and other lures too but well we'll keep going well there's martin set too just on this log that broke off coming out of these birch trees here right there bam we'll get him i bet you i hope so anyways but this is pretty messy bushing through here oh uh, Popple, popple trees right here up just a little bit farther ahead we'll get into some real thick stuff we'll have to fight our way through that i bet you but we'll see how it goes stay tuned okay i just put in a rabbit snare here this thing took a bit i mean i'm no professional snare maker by any means but this snare is a bugger i had already pre-made it just it's out of a guitar string and i've heard you can use that picture where you know but the whole works. But I just had pick. I just had these old guitar strings, so figured I'd use them. And I don't know if that was the problem or what, but that was a bugger. <laughs> well, we'll keep going here. See you at the next set. Well, well, this is another Martin set I got in. Pull, cut down. Put a little notch in the tree. Well, I didn't really put a very good notch in it, as you can see. I had to wire it off there a tad. But then, got a front leg of a beaver there. One and a half long spring old Victor. I got a whole bunch of them. And I don't use them very much, really. But they're good traps, so. And then, yeah. That's one more we got in. You can see, we got a bust through a tad bit of trail there. But, um... Yeah, stay tuned, we'll keep going here. We're opening up this section of trail, at least making it passable. That's what the section we ain't done yet looks like. But the good news is, we're getting close. Right there, that marsh grass, that's the beaver pond that we're gonna be crossing. Well, the end of it, it's not really a pond up there. The pond's down there some more. But we gotta keep clearing this trail. And we'll keep making her. It ain't exactly a super easy tack, but it ain't bad. Got lots more clearing to do. Whew. Just came through there, break just breaking through. Feels like I just I don't know. But I just came to the bigger main trail here. Over there's actually rougher than I thought this one would be, to be honest. But and the, through there's a tad rough too. <clears throat> but I'll bring the sled up to here. But right through there is the beaver pond. And this goes right up, right up alongside the dam. Um, but I also just found 
all these coyote tracks here. Keep going straight down that way and that way. And these are fresh. Last night, because we just got a little bit dusting of snow here this morning. Um, but yeah, we'll see what we do here. Well, we just made that ice cross in there. There's, I don't know if there's a bunch of minnows or otter crawl outs or both. I think it was partially both there. Uh, made some thin ice over this way some. So, stayed out a little farther away from it. And then had to bomb her up through his brush because that was the only spot I could get out. I'll have to clean this spot up here. But, yeah, I don't know if I'll make any more sets on the way out. It's getting dark here. But, we accomplished what I've wanted to accomplish. We've, as long as this trail is clear through here, which it should be, or close to it at least. This is just a little side trail, but right up there is the main trail. It should be clear, should be good to go. So we can hope that it is anyways, but it's all doable. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Of course, I say the trail is cleared and here I come to it. And like right there's the other trail and there's a tree right there. No worries, we'll, get, we'll make the pool and do something if it will. Let's hope so. <laughs> okay, we'll get through this.